So, Mario, are you spiritual? Yes. What do you mean by that? The way I grew up, my heart was in my neighborhood, but my love, I've always been loyal to love. I've always known that. But it deceived me. I confused the two. If you confuse the two, it lets you down. And if it, you have to pick yourself up, yourself up. You can't let anybody else pick yourself up. For. Is that what you mean by spiritual? Just self-improvement? Or yes. Just talking about God? Self-improvement. That's what I believe in. I believe in all religions have a universal meaning. I believe in the power of the universe. I believe that we're all just human and we're all here to spread love. And that's all I got to do. <laughs> so, do you think God created everything? Do you think evolution created everything? can never know, ever. <laughs> oh, you may not be able to ever know, I know. You can know within. You hear that, Mario? I know, <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say we can never know. That's limiting your knowledge. Um, do you ever think about how amazing life is? I mean, look at the blueness of the sky and the sun. Do you ever think about the sun, how incredible it is? How incredible it is? It's 93 million miles away, and it's just warm enough to ripen your tomatoes. Any closer, we're all dead. Further away, we're all dead. You ever think about how amazing that is? I do. So how did I, it get there? I had to learn it myself. I had to go within. And nobody can teach it for you. You have to go within. And you can unlock the secrets to the universe if your loyalty lies in the love for yourself. That's it. You love yourself? I do. You love God? I love God. But in my mind, God is the entire universe. So well, I love that's, the entire... That's called pantheism. The difference between the painter and the painting. You don't love the painting, you love the painter because he's the genius that created the painting. And so if you love creation, you're setting your affection on the creation rather than the creator and that's called an ordinate affection. It's a wrong order of affections. If your mum gave you a gift and you love the gift more than you love your mother, there's something wrong. You should be saying, hey mum, thanks for this car. I'm grateful to you, not to the car. Grateful to you for the gift. Make sense? I personally know who I am and why I'm here. I found my purpose from within. I know that to be true. I've never lost that in my entire life. I've been the same person. You need love. You can't be a man without love. You have to separate yourself from love in order to find that for yourself. Nobody else can do it for you. That's the point. Do you trust yourself? I do. How many? Let me ask you a question. Spell the word shop. S-H-O-P. What do you do when you come to a green light? G-O. Good work. <laughs> Spell the word silk. S-I-L-K. What do cows drink? M-I-L-K. No, they drink water. <laughs> so never trust yourself, because we are, we are easily deceived. The Bible says, he who trusts his own heart is a fool. A lot of people are dead because they trusted their own heart. They made judgments. I can beat that truck and overtake this car, and they couldn't. Wrong judgment. Let me ask you another question. You said your concept of God is that he is the universe. Yeah. Do you think God is happy with you or angry at you? Depending on what you do, God will love you for it either way. <laughs> That's what I believe in. So how are you doing morally? As are you, long as you stay true to yourself, God will love you. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you know in your heart you're doing it for the right reason, love. You have nothing to worry about in this world whatsoever. It's called faith. Let's see how you're doing. Do you think you're a good person? Yes. How many lies have you told in your life? I've lost count. Okay, what do you call someone who's told lies? A liar. So you've blown that one. Have you ever stolen something, even if, you're, even if it's small? Yeah. What do you call someone who steals? A liar. A thief. If you deny that you lie, steal, cheat, and deceit, you become those things. And that's what you have to understand as a human, is that you can't lose yourself in yourself, because that's the double-edged sword of love. It's out there. You just got to find it for yourself in order to truly know what it is. And I just want to push that to everybody. <laughs> That's okay, Mara, you were saying that you found yourself. What are mankind's origins? Where do we come from? Women. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, originally, I don't mean from your mother. I mean, where did, what's, what's the origin of humanity? Authenticity and love. No, the origin. Where did we come from? What was in the beginning? Man and woman. <laughs> yeah, but for man and woman. Who created man and woman? A higher power. Uh, who was that? God. <laughs> okay. Why do we exist as human beings? 
to love. Okay, and where are, you, where are you going when you die? Whatever you did here, it depends. <laughs> okay, that's true. Now, third commandment, you should not take God's name in vain. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Okay, would you use your mother's name as a cuss word? Never. Never, because you honor her, but you haven't loved and honored God. You've used his name as a filth word to express disgust, which is called blasphemy. So serious. It's punishable by death in the Old Testament. Appreciate your honesty and your, uh, and your patience with me. Now, Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yes, I'm a man. <laughs> Have you had sex before marriage? Yes, I'm a man. So, Murray, I'm not judging you. You judge yourself. But you've told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, adulterer at heart. And you have to face God on Judgment Day. If he judges you by the Ten Commandments, I've looked at four, you're going to be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell. <laughs> now, does that concern you? Deep down, yeah. And it horrifies me. We've just met. I love you. I care about you. The thought of you going to hell just breaks my heart. Do you know what death actually is, according to the Bible? Ultimate enlightenment. Well, no, it's wages. It says the wages of sin is death. God's given you death as wages for your sin. He's paying you in death. He's given you capital punishment. Like a judge looks at a heinous criminal who's raped three girls and then murdered them, he says, you've earned the death sentence. This is your wages. This is what's due to you. And sin is so serious to God, Mario, that he's given you capital punishment. Lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, adulterer at heart. Now tell me, what did God do for guilty sinners so we wouldn't have to go to hell? Do you remember? <clears throat> he came up with the idea that depending on what you do here, you're either good or bad, and that's it. You just got to stick to that and have the faith in that. And then no, you that's not what he did. Jesus suffered and died on the cross for the sin of the world. The Ten Commandments are called the moral law. You and I broke the law. Jesus paid the fine. That's what happened on that cross. Mario, if you're in court and someone pays your fine, a judge can let you go. Did you know that? You can say, Mario, there's a stack of speeding fines here. This is deadly serious. But someone's paid him. You're free to go. And he can do that which is legal and right and just. And God loves you so much, he became a human being, suffered and died on the cross to take the punishment for the sin of the world. That means you don't have to end up in hell. God can legally... Forgive your sins, because he's the lover of your soul. And then Jesus rose from the dead and defeated death. Mario, if you give up the battle and just say, God, I'm a rebel, and you repent and trust in Christ, God will forgive every sin you've ever committed and grant you everlasting life as a free gift. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes. And it's the gospel truth. I wouldn't lie to you. Are you ready to repent and trust in Christ? Yes. Can I pray with you? <laughs> sure. Father, I pray for Mario. Thank you we met today. Thank you we met today. I pray today he'll truly repent and trust in Jesus and have his sins forgiven in a second and pass from death to life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you have a Bible at home? No. I'm, I'm going to give you some literature. Now, do you know why you're, you're weeping? Any idea? Because I've sinned as a man. That's called contrition, and the Bible says godly sorrow, being sorry for your sins, works repentance. So I trust today that God's brought conviction of sin to you and that you know you've sinned against God, and you'll understand that God can forgive you and grant you everlasting life as a free gift. I've got some literature for you, okay? Mario, thank you for talking to me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you <laughs> interviewing me. I do. A friend recently asked me to send him the full Mario interview so that he could show it to his church. Then he sent me this email. Okay, they were blown away yesterday by the Mario video. Brought several to tears. Not kidding. I closed out the service by asking who would attend a class where we could learn how to do what we just saw Ray do. Half the church said sign them up and more from the half that didn't will once they see it happening. When he asked what he should use, I suggested the basic training course. You need only know how to click play. The course does all the teaching for you. The Way of the Master has been commanded by John MacArthur, Ravi Zacharias, David Jeremiah, Joni Erickson Tata, Josh McDowell, and many other Christian leaders. To order, go to livingwaters.com and click on training.